I think that that we have gifts that that we as lesbian, gays, transgenders have that are uniquely ours, and I think we should we should take pride in that and be who we are, and and not try to assimilate, but be happy and and gay. It was a coming out for me when I when I got the club. Prior to that, I was in the in the closet. I went into it thinking that it was going to be like the clubs were here in town, where they were straight clubs, but but they welcomed gay and lesbian folks. So this was what I was thought I was starting, and it ended up the children came on in and and took over. <laughs> you know, said we're going to duels, and and pretty soon it was uh, gay disco for especially for African American kids. It it was different in that there were actual laws against same sex dancing then, and there were other groups that would have have dances in different places where the police would come in and harass them, take some of them to jail, much like the, the, the Stonewall situation. So the first thing that I had to, to do was make sure that everybody that came in knew that there would be no touching while they were dancing. This was kind of like the birth of the disco scene too. So everybody could come and they could dance. Eventually it, it caught on and became like the underground place to be for, you know, such people as Madonna and Boy George and, every, you know, folks, local folks. The original Village House Foundation was was right across the parking lot from, from the catch. It was about, about serving people, and especially African-American folks are are treated differently by, by most of the doctors and that, that they say you're given unnecessary medicines. And I didn't, I wanted to be an advocate for all people that were uh, being victimized by, by the, I call it sick care establishment. Being out has taught me not to believe some of the lies that I hear and I think that other people think about me, and sometimes not to believe the lies I think about myself. I am a child of the universe, as we all are, and um, deserving of, of this space, and I try to honor that by giving of myself. The legacy I hope to leave is one of the good feelings that one can get from from the giving and sharing of their experiences, uh, their lives. I am a elder in the community that I serve, and I want to be available to not only teach, but learn from the younger people.